Good evening, everyone. Um, tonight, I'm going to be making a video over how to get the um, Ryuki ru, ru, ki, ru, the shark axe. So um, that's what we're going to do. I know there's a lot of videos out there already about it, but it's been requested by a couple of my viewers, well, quite a few of my viewers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk through that. Um, let me get rid of this beta axe real quick, and I'll be right with you. All right, to start off, can I donate some free spoke wood? Yes. Smiley face. To start off, what you're going to need is at least 8,000. Um, that's a general number because sometimes it'll cost a little bit more, sometimes it'll cost a little bit less, depending on how fast you are in getting the items and everything that you need to do. So you're going to have to have a car. All right, that's a given. Um, the first item that you're going to need to collect is the bag of sand. You can find it inside Wood R Us. Grab it and do, 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 buy it. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. Could I have this bag of sand, please? Uh oh, e. There we go. Bag of sand for sixteen hundred. Keep uh, keep count of all the numbers here. Yes, please. Thank you. No, thank you, Tom. There we go. Drop it in there like that. Jump in over the top, and off we go. So that's the first item, and you really should get that on the way back, so you're not dropping it across the uh, the safari lands. If you're good enough, you can park right next to the thing. Hey, there you go. Hello. So this is going to cost a hundred to get over the top, or get over the bridge. So we're up to seventeen thousand, or sorry, seventeen hundred, because we paid sixteen hundred for the bag of sand. Hold on, guys. Thanks. Okay. I have to hide the chat. Mm. I, I'll play with you guys afterwards. Promise. Promises. I promises. Dobby. Dobby. Dobby? Dobby's a good elf. Dobby's a good house elf. Master treats us right. <laughs> Sorry. I've, I've had a lot of coffee today, and... A really good day at work, so um, I got a lot of uh, reports created. Uh, I program different web pages and reports and server stuff, so that's what I do. Oh, sorry. Um, you, inside the furnishing shop, you have to go to the back and buy the light bulb. And the reason you buy the light bulb is because it looks like an ice cream cone. Talk to Corey. Hello, Corey. Two thousand six hundred. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Thank you. So there we go. We now have bag of sand and ice cream. Just go right next to the uh, the shop. We're gonna go to the shack. That's over here. Come on, right there. And be careful when driving up to this thing. I have gotten stuck on the front porch before. Inside here, you're going to need a stick of dynamite, which is going to cost you 220. Hello. Yes, Bob. Please. I need some dynamite. Hehehe, <laughs> thanks. Awfully happy about that, Bob. And you're going to need this can of worms, which I figure he's in a wilderness kind of environment. That's probably used for fishing. We're going to use it for something else. 3,200. I'll take it. Hey, <laughs> thanks. Oh, drop it off like that. And over the top. You can actually make a pretty good business out of selling Ryuki axes, Ruki axes only. Um, if you sell for 10k, that means you'll get about 2,000 per axe. If you see somebody selling them for like 2,000 each, they're probably duplicating. Don't buy from them. That or they've got a really good deal somewhere. Now, because I did that so quick, I am able to get back across the bridge without paying another hundred. So that saved me a little bit of cash there. Done. Once you're back across the bridge, you're just going to follow the path. Try and avoid any trees that might be laying in the way. Darn it. I, I hate it when trees jump out in the middle of the road and get hit. 
There's a guy stuck up there. Nice. All right. Coming around the side, around the side. And what we're doing is we're going to drive up the hill. Whoops. Uh, I should have went up the other hill, but that's okay. I can get there from here. That goes to the cherry blossoms. Over here, this goes to the snow binome. <laughs> binome. Biome. <laughs> it's a binomial, like mass. You're going to grab your TNT, jump out, and we can go ahead and open this. Open. Hello. TNT. And don't put it right here on this first one. Kind of kind of give it a couple of bricks in, like that. And E to set it off. Oh, run. Dude, back off. No. No. Go. No. 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 <laughs> Come on. Come on. Move. Move, 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 move. Thank you. <laughs> You're too close. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Too close. You're too close. I think there was a song called that, You're Too Close. Ooh, oh, 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 there it goes. Run, run, run. <laughs> yes. Uh, big smiley face. There it goes. And I didn't turn around so you could see it. Oh, darn it. That's okay. Hi, later, Ken. All right. So we've got the rest of our items. Whoa, buddy. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. We're going to take a right right here. As soon as you're in the snow area, snowy area, just follow this cliff all the way straight into the back. I give you free spook wood to you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, dude. And right here on the right. Oh, that's crazy. All right, there's a red bird symbol, just like the one that you see inside uh, the Wood R Us. Ah, he's opening it for me. Thank you, sir. Why, thank you, sir. All right. Uh, don't unbox the items before you get there, because if you do, you are going to lose them. They get lost inside that snow so easy. One, oops, and two, and three, and jump in. Oh, jump in. There we go. Grab this, bring it down here. Most of your items are going to fall down by themselves. And open, open, open. Oops, come on. It's going to go can of worms here. And. Ice cream cone, oops, ice cream cone here, there we go, and bag of sand here, oops, oh, that got it, it triggered it, and if you look up, here it comes, the most awesome axe in the world, yeah, and if we leave it alone, it'll actually go and sit back somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it didn't do it. Usually it like flies back and goes somewhere. But anyhow, there you go. Now you have the special axe. The Ryuki axe, the shark axe, the eagle axe, the red axe, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. He's got one too. <laughs> if you like this video, please comment and subscribe down below. Um, share it out with your friends, family, co-workers, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not going to pressure you. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.